Well, good morning, everybody. It's Silvestro, and welcome to episode three of Let's Move. So today, guess what? We're going to do it in the comfort of our own home. So the reason why I'm doing this is because of two reasons. Outside, it's going to rain. Two, when I had the mic on uh, Wi-Fi, it was distorted. So why not bring it back home and show you that you don't need to go anywhere. So I've just cleared some space here in the lounge room and shh, don't tell Loretta because she'll go crazy. But um, yeah, so we're going to exercise. Before we start, I just want to bring it to your attention that in between doing the Let's Smooth workouts, when you download your free weight loss planner, nice and thick, between the pages of 73 and 84, you have a movement section. Okay, so in the movement section, there's all these tips about moving and the best way to move and what to do and blah, blah, blah. Nice little picture of me. I do have a studio, by the way, but I choose to do it at home because I don't want anybody to feel that, oh, you must go to a gym or to a personal training studio. I'm all about trying to keep it as simple as possible and to overcome any barriers or excuses or reasons why you shouldn't do it. So that's why I do it from home. And you'll see throughout the actual planner, there's exercises right through. Lots of all these exercises basically are ones that you can um, do without any equipment that we do right here, right now. So you can see all the way through there. That's my studio. And so you've got lots. And then at the back of the planner, which is 150 pages, by the way, you have your monthly logs on your food. How do you like, check on yourself? Your activities all through there as well. Six months worth of login. Okay, so the planner, when you download it, obviously it's PDF, but when you print it out, that's what it is. We're talking A4 double-sided, almost 300 pages. If I had to put this into an, a book, it'd be 500 pages, so that's free. Like, download it. If you don't have it already, it's, there's no gimmicks, no tricks, no loopholes. I send you an email once every week to make sure that you're okay and, 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 and so forth. But besides that, like, it, there's recipes in there as well. Like, I don't, like, it's all there. Like, we're losing weight right now and keeping it off for the very last time, it's so easy. When I did it 16 years ago, it's all about learning. So there's 16 years of working that from my own experiences. So it's free download. You just go to the ultimateweightlossplanner.com.au. I'll put a link for you, but it's free. There you go. Okay, so what we're gonna do is first, we're gonna do five exercises and we're going to imitate like a boxer boxing. We're going to put in the push-ups, the sit-ups, the, the star jumps, shadow boxing. So this way, I did a lot of boxing when I was losing weight, not boxing people, but boxing movement that really helped me lose weight. And it also made me feel good and I love the movement. You're moving around and no equipment needed for this one here. So what we're gonna do is first, you're right-handed, right leg back, so today is full on boxing, hands up, right, so you've got it, and I want you to move your legs. I'll just move back, so I'll just move back a bit, so I want you to twist, okay? So from here, you go left first, and go right across your body, let's go. All we're doing is, I want you to punch the air, but keep your hands up, left, right, left and you need to pivot you pivot you can probably just see my back leg how am i pivoting one of the most famous words we've heard for the last six months is to pivot so we're going to pivot boxing with let's move okay left right left right and use your hips right you're working your sides you see through through there and you're twisting I want you to aim, not in front of you, 
but to your left and to your right and twist. Bring your legs, you can see. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, now we're gonna do some kicks. The kicks are great because what they do is they work your core. Because whenever you move, these are your stabilizers. You need to work on your balance because your balance will engage your core. Okay, so I'm not getting really fancy with terminology, but that's what they talk about when they say engage. Well, I'm not really engaged to my core. I'm engaged to Loretta, but I'm engaging my core. Okay. <laughs> All right, so what I'm going to do is hands up. Move it's easier, and you're gonna lift one leg out and kick four. So we're doing front kicks, left, right, up, left, right. See? So basically, you're onto one leg and then you're kicking. So you're engaged in the core. We did this for 45 seconds. That's right. Left. And when you kick, you bring your knee up first. Knee up, then kick forward. If you do this, you'll injure your lower back. So if you've been sitting down behind the computer, like my, all my friends out there, Vanessa, Leanne, for because we're behind the computer, zooming, mentoring people, coaching people, then this is a really good exercise. And Gil, and Julie, this is a really good exercise, and Frida, to get the lower muscle working. Five, four, three, two, one. Great. Okay. Now, let's do some push-ups. We all love push-ups. Honey Ann, I can just see your picture. So, let's snooze the ground. I might disappear here. Ooh, that's a nice little pillow. I might use Loretta's pillow. Okay, on the ground. I'm not going to use her pillow because she'll laugh at me. <laughs> okay, down, on the ground. I can probably tilt this little bit down so it's easier. Yeah, front kicks are really good, Leanne. They really hold the, they really help engage the, the core. And if you've got a slight pain in the back, it just really stretches it out because you're doing this movement. Okay, so I've brought that down as low as possible. Let's do the push-ups. Push-ups, I just cross like so, and your hands are out about shoulder length, and just bend your elbows, relax, and then push up. Okay, once again, all these exercises we do for about 45 seconds, all levels of fitness. At any time, you can stop and then you can restart. And over time, step by step, you will build your fitness and your endurance. But you need to give it time. Losing weight for the very last time you must enjoy what you're doing because that is what your lifestyle is. Let's be more. And up we come. Okay, push up, bus up. Now what I want you to do, I want you just to jog on the spot. You can march on the spot, but move your arms or just jog on the spot. Hopefully you can hear me nice and clear today. <laughs> there goes the relative right cushion. I want you to go like this, side to side. See, working the inner thigh. Left. We'll go back a bit. Inner thigh. Low impact.
and we impact. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, it's getting really. Thanks, Leanne. It's getting really uh, heavy. Fifth exercise. Now, because we're at home, I'm pretty sure you've got a chair or a lounge or something you can grab onto because we're going to work the triceps. Okay? So, we have a lounge here. So, what you want to do is you want to hold your hand like this and the elbows close in. So, grab, feet out, like so, these behind you, and we're gonna do dips, tricep dips, down, up. Yes, down and up. Hands behind you, that's it. I'll do one from side view for you. There you go, that's much better. And dip. Dip. So you want your feet like that. Five. Four, three, two, and one, and up we come. Oh, they really burn. It doesn't matter how fit you are. Oh, that's round one. Okay. Okay, here we go. Next round, same one again. Just box in. Ready? And go. Left, right. Move around. You can see, I'll do side view so you can see how I'm doing it. Front view, and you can see my legs, how I twist. I just went for a run today, so that's why I'm still in my running gear. Just went for a quick run, and then come and do this session with you guys. And then, yeah. Okay, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, front kicks. I'll do it from here so you can see. So you want to lift up your leg first. So don't do this. Your strain here, up and then out. Okay, it works your core, but to use your arms to balance you. Up, you see? Up, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's it, up, up, up. You go up 90 and then kick out. Front kicks. Work in. Yes, halfway there, 20 seconds to go. It's great doing it from home. Five, four, three, two, one. Front kick's done. Okay. Let's go down for our push-ups. You can also do push-ups on the lounge, on the floor, but we'll do it on the floor. Okay. Down we go. See, I cross my legs. I rarely do them on my toes because I don't want to put the strain onto my lower back because all we're focusing is on the chest and we engage the back muscles and the core. And down and bend. 
That's it. Working great. Work it. Upper body, lower body, core, cardio, if you want to call it. This is a total workout. You do as many rounds as you can. We're doing 20 minutes, but at least you can see what we've done so far. It's five exercises. Shadow boxing, front kicks, push-ups, jogging on the spot, and then our triceps, and then at the end we'll do some crunches. And up we come. Okay. Here we go. Ready? So we're going to do this. Side to sides. And left, and then right. Left, works it in the thigh, right. Right, here we go. And then, coordination. Coordination, balance. It's not just, it's the whole deal. That's it, keep on going. Low impact. And then 10 seconds on the spot. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Even I'm huffing and puffing. Okay. Tricep dips. Chair, lounge, whatever you have. Hands go behind you. There we go. Feet in front. So you have this nice right angle. Hands up on the edge. And dip. Great. Hope you enjoying today's workout. Keep on going. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, wow, that really gets the triceps, which is this muscle here. So your triceps are basically opposite to your biceps. Your triceps. Okay, really. It also engages your back as well. Okay. Let's do a third round. If I wasn't talking so much, <laughs> you can do five rounds, you can do four rounds, you can do 10 rounds, you can do two rounds, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you do it in 10 minute slots or 20 minute slots or twice a day or once a day or three times a week. Just make sure that you're consistent in your discipline, in your routine, and make sure that what you do is if you put it in your diary or put it as an alarm, as a reminder, that way you know that that is your time for you, okay? Here we go, boxing. Twist, 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 twist. Good to breathe, yes. That's it, be like a boxer. Move around, move the body. Here we go, 20 seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, my God, what a workout so far. Oh. Okay, next are our front kicks. Hands up, knee, one, two, three, four, five. That's it. 
up and kick. Front kicks. Just don't kick the TV set. <laughs> don't get the speakers. All right, having fun. We're almost there. It's let's move. It's simple. It's free. No equipment. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, and whoosh. wow. Okay. Um, push ups. Oh. Okay, knees, you lean them forward. Your hands are about your shoulder width apart. And then you need to bend your elbows, relax as you go down and then push up. Down and push up. It's important to breathe in between. When I started losing my weight, I just did the very, very basics and just be consistent and just did them. You know, and then when I got bored, I changed things around. Okay, got to start somewhere. It's never going to be a perfect time. The perfect time, the right time is now to lose weight for the very last time. Five, four, three, two, and one, come back up. Okay. Here we go, we're almost there. So remember, side to side, you can do low impact, work in your thighs, and engage in your hips, and then high impact. Once you feel confident, you can always do the last 10 seconds to get your heart rate up. Just, I move back a bit so I can show you. You always bring in one back to center. <laughs> Once again, just move. Doesn't have to be perfect. As long as you're moving, that's all it counts. Don't aim, perf don't aim for perfection. Just aim to keep your promise and just move your body. Let's move. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> okay. Next. Lucky last, well there could be a surprise. Tricep dips. Remember, you want to grab it like so. Okay. Exercise, like, for me, it's, I get some great ideas when I exercise. And I feel so good about afterwards that you accomplished that and, you're, and you kept a promise to yourself. And that's a feel good thing when you kept your promise. And at the end of the day, you go, yep, tick, do my exercise. I feel good. So it's, it's great. The, now, discipline is a bridge between goals and accomplishments. And that's where it comes into. You need that, the bridge. And discipline is doing things that... <laughs> Well, you don't feel like doing it, you just do it. It's like the other day when I ran the Sea to Surf and I walked it with Loretta on the Sunday. On Tuesday, when I went to go for a run, my body said no, but my mind said yes, and that's discipline. Okay, here we go. See, coaching, mentoring at the same time. Five, four, three, two and one okay wow 20 minutes had already flown hasn't it but what we're going to do is just to finish off i always like to do some type i mean we're always working our core but i just want to do one specific um sit up so i normally would have like a mat but i'm using one of the red cushions Shh, don't tell her <laughs> just to give myself a lower back support okay so
All you need to do is come up and stay up. I don't want you to go all the way down. I want you to go down. The moment you feel that you can't get back up again, come back up slowly. I don't want to see this because this is not push-ups. You need to, I'll put this behind me to support me because my tailbone gets sore, okay? Up, come down and then up. And have your hands beside you, go down, don't go all the way down and then come back up. You see, not fast. It's not about how many you do, it's the quality and that you are engaging your core. You can feel it and then you come back up. Five, four, three, two, breathe out, one. Excellent. Yay. Done. Excellent. Now you can go in the back of your ultimate weight loss planner. Oh, there's a camera there. And you can log in because if you're not logging, then we don't know where you're at. You can tell me everything, but we need to log. So you can see here, That's our monthly fitness calendar, one for each day of the month. And then you have the monthly, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and a Sunday, the whole month. And then next to it, you have what you actually did on that day. If it was like, did some lifting or did some cardio. And that's how you track it. If someone comes up to me and says, I oh, Sylvester, I can't lose weight, I'm doing everything, the first thing I say, show me your log. It's like when you, it's like a car. I mean, you've got to maintain a car. Um, if a car breaks down, the first thing is, which log books? What was last service? What did you change? The oil, the spark plugs, the air filter, the fuel filter, the tires. If things aren't maintained, things are going to break down. Same with our human bodies. And if we don't log, then we don't know where within our log, where within our log book, we need to adjust or to change or to identify what is it that may be stopping us from losing weight for the very last time. That's, thanks Leanne, hope you enjoyed the workout. That's why the log is really important. That's in your planner. I do also have two other items that I do with my clients. One is called a progress diary. And the other one that I'm starting to do with people and program is the habit starter. These have, the habit starter goes through ways in which you can um, change your habits because really at the end of the day, what drives us to do things, what, what stops us from doing things, our habits, behavior, and our beliefs. I always talk about that, what we believe in, what are our habits, and what are our behaviors? And all of that leads to our choices. And our choices, our decisions, is what helps us lose weight for the very last time. I mean, yes, we'll make mistakes, and that's all I find. We, as long as we learn from them, and we understand why we did them, so the next time we come across that same situation, we're proactive, we're armed with the right tools and resources to address it, so we don't go down that path again. Because, there's a big difference between knowing the path and taking the path. There's people out there saying, yes, I'm a personal trainer, nutritionist, I'm all this, I'm like that, but they're not really taking action or they're not, they're not doing things. So you can say all these things, and that's great that you, you, you know the path, you know what you're talking about, but are you taking it? Are you preaching? Are you promising or keeping your promise of what you're doing? So let's move, move in. Just, just get that into that routine. Promise yourself. Don't overcommit. Don't burn yourself out. Do you mean? Just say, yes, I'm gonna do it once a week or twice a week, and I'll do it for 20 minutes or 15 minutes or 10 minutes, whatever it is, just put it in your diary, stick to your routine, accomplishment, and then you feel good about yourself. That's how you install self-belief and self-esteem that you can do it and you can keep your promise. That's all you need to do, people. 
and you will lose weight for the very last time. Once again, thank you. I hope you enjoy the workout, Leanne. Appreciate you coming on board, and I hope you enjoy the new scene inside the house. Um, it's all decorated by Loretta, and I will see you next week. Um, I'll see you on the group. I've got some new promotions coming up, and I'll have a giveaway uh, to give out to people if you're able to give me some input as well. Until next time, I want you to keep on living your best life, and I want you to lose your weight for the very last time. Helping women lose weight for the very last time is what I'm all about. Until next time, thank you and goodbye for now.